And we are with Mr. Martin Short, who is the Chief Executive of The Power of Nutrition. Mr. Short, welcome on our set. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the mission and the goals of the foundation of The Power of Nutrition. Well, The Power of Nutrition was started in the 2013 Nutrition for Growth Summit in the UK and really on the premise of there wasn't enough money going into the nutrition space. Nutrition gets less than 1% 1, 1 of ODA, so less than 1% of the total global aid budget goes towards nutrition. And therefore it was put together as a new foundation with some great backers to really promote nutrition and promote the funding of nutrition and really identify what the outcomes were, which is all about stunting of children under five. And what are your thoughts, I mean, after all your research and all that's said and done, what is the quality of nutrition today? Well, the quality of nutrition today um, is great depending where you live. And so in the global north, um, I think there's obviously a different nutrition, um, a different nutritional issues that you have. Obviously in the global south, uh, we have hidden hunger and you have a great deal of poverty. Those nutrition aspects are, are, are very, very challenging indeed. So we have everything from obesity, to undernutrition and we particularly focus on the undernutrition so those particularly children and, and mothers of a reproductive age um, who uh, do not have enough nutrition for them globally but particularly in sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia where there are particular issues vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, undernutrition. You come from the financial world and you decided to take on this role. What, what was the inspiration to get involved in, in social economic and social uh, you know, responsibility? Uh, well, that's a great question. I mean, there's a number of different answers. Firstly, um, I think that, that, that nutrition in itself was a really interesting topic. Why? There is no Ministry of Nutrition. Uh, and therefore, it doesn't have a particular home. And I thought that that argument about nutrition and where it sat uh, could be made to everybody, make it relevant to everybody. Um, secondarily, it was brand new. It was a startup. I've done some of those before. I've got some experience in that. Um, and thirdly, Listen, it had a lot of risk, um, and that's something that I really enjoy, and, um, and therefore you see me here four and a half years later. Do you think that we need to do something about the quality of manufacturing of food to become more responsible also about what we're doing to our environment when it comes to manufacturing and agriculture? Well, listen, I think all the corporate sector and all, all civil society, um, uh, all the NGOs, the foundations, have a responsibility no matter who you are. So I don't think that the, the food in of itself is a responsibility only of, for example, the 36 food companies in the Fortune 500. There are 464 other companies in the Fortune 500 who actually employ people. Um, they have customers in Sub-Saharan Africa and in Southeast Asia. And I think the purpose of the Power of Nutrition is to spread our, our um, spread the narrative and the, um, the, the relevance of nutrition beyond just the food companies. Now, particularly to that though, of course, everybody has responsibility when they are thinking through the food groups, whether it is the sugar content, whether it is the salt content, the regulation around it, the promotion and marketing of that infant formula, etc. So those are really, really key issues that we have to, uh, have to address. And of course, obesity, is not just um, a global north issue. And obesity is also a global south. And so you do get double burden, stunting, and obesity. So short children with non communicable and health problems associated with that. And those children um, will ultimately become adults. And if you incorporate those adults into the workplace, you have high absenteeism rates, um, you have a significant amount of, uh, of health issues surrounding it. So. All those issues mean that um, the, the health and well-being of the human capital um, of those people who are, are big consumers is, is ever-present and important for us all to address. And what are some of the solutions to tackle that, that missing link of why we have such a, a big gap between, I mean, like you mentioned earlier, we have half the world is obese, obesity issues, the other half of the world is in famine. So why such a big gap and what can we do to tackle these issues? Well, I think nutrition is important for all. So I think it's to make it relevant for everybody um, and to make sure that uh, we understand when nutrition fits into that food system, into that value chain. But also poverty has a huge issue. If you lift people out of poverty, you give them more disposable income. They have choices to make with their, uh, their hard-earned money, which means that they don't have to just buy the junk food that is often available to them and so easy to purchase and so relatively inexpensive. So 
when you have a lot of um, when you have a lot of poverty that obviously that so very often equates um, to a poor diet where you have pot noodles or um, you have a very bland uh, carbohydrate based diet with no nutrients that will obviously and, and can lead to stunting and low birth weight um, and low birth weight will also be a huge issue so so as mothers having children under two and a half kilos is a very very big issue to make sure they get out of that and actually have a healthy uh, regime means you've got to feed the mother as well as feed the child what is your message to people watching what is our what is what can we do as global citizens to assist in this well listen you know we, um, we all sitting here in this wonderful city of New York um, having um, diversity of diet having opportunities for all and I think my message would be as following um, we all um, have workers and we all have uh, customers um, many of whom are uh, who live and work in those countries with a high level of stunting to them. If you have a high level of, uh, of a stunted population that you are dipping into for your workers and customers, that means that they're going to have high absenteeism rates and that means that you're going to have um, uh, workers who are not going to be able to hold down really tough jobs. So my, 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 I think my message to all and my, my plea to all is to make nutrition important, just as important the human capital element of, of nutrition and how we feed people, as important for governments within those recipient countries as you would do invest in, in power and infrastructure projects. Don't think you can outsource your health and well-being uh, of your citizenships to externally to the global north. Make sure you take responsibility for nutrition in your country and make sure that it is equal to any money that you would put towards power and infrastructure projects, telecommunications, uh, agriculture, health and welfare. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Great. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.